Hi, this is Michael Ludden. Uh, this video is about how to get Galaxy Apps and Samsung Pay to show and be installed and work on your Verizon Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. It is Verizon's fault that I even need to make this video. I shouldn't have to. These things should just come and work and show, uh, but some of them don't. So I'm going to go one by one and then give you some bonuses. But first, shout out to Alex Lopez, who uh, asked for this video. I've also gotten a lot of requests for other things like, how do I theme my device? Uh, how do I... Uh, install another launcher and make it look very stock and get the Google experience and I'll show you how to do that as well It's all very quick. So first thing if you're using this stock TouchWiz launcher Galaxy apps won't show by default, which is very weird However, if you hit this little A to Z button and you press save it'll automatically alphabetize it for you And then all of a sudden when you go to G Galaxy apps magically shows and as you can see the store works as normal Well, okay, I guess it doesn't with the with no setting with no uh, uh, internet involved, but uh, the store does work as normal. Um, Galaxy, Samsung Pay you don't get through Galaxy Apps on Verizon. You actually get it through Google Pay, Play. But first you have to go into Galaxy Apps and update um, the Samsung services, including the pay payments framework, so that Samsung Pay will work. You also have to make sure that your Google Play services are up to date. So out of the box, you gotta make, you know, you gotta, you gotta en enable and update uh, via the Galaxy App Store, uh, and then you have to update uh, Google Play services on Google Play. Uh, and then you can go into Google Play and just literally search for Samsung Pay and it'll be right there. Um, so you can download and install it and it will, it will work as normal. So that's those two. Some people have also asked me how to access the Theme Store. Well, it's actually part of the Samsung App Store, uh, but it's accessed only somehow, and I think this is Verizon's doing, uh, via personal. And if you go into Themes, uh, but there is a way for you to show the... Uh, so, that's weird. No connection, so it won't let me do anything else. But if you if you click on more themes, it'll take you to the theme store. Um, and in the top right of the theme store, you can press settings and you can say show app icon, and then you can have a dedicated theme store app icon in your launcher. Um, and you can download the Google um, keyboard, which I have done. That's what I use as my keyboard uh, rather than Samsung's. And then install Nova Launcher. I prefer to use Nova Launcher. And then basically with the theme that I have, which is Material Dark, it looks very googly and very stock Google. So. Uh, that's Oh, and I turn off the Galaxy button lights with this app called Galaxy Button Lights. So now you see the lights don't light up when I do that, or when I press back. And that is how I've themed my device. But the most important thing is to get your Samsung Pay enabled. Samsung Pay is awesome. If you want to do something with Galaxy apps, feel free. Go ahead and download that. Theme your device. Definitely recommend a material theme. Make it a little, seem a little more um, like stock. Uh, and then I also re highly recommend Nova Launcher with the Nova Prime payment. So it has a lot of really cool features. It doesn't have to look at all like mine. Um, it can look like anything you want, but uh, it's much, much better than the stock uh, or the uh, TouchWiz uh, launcher here. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks.